Coming up are four different builds and a bit of a review of this, the best value car in the game. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, real life does not give you free unlimited amounts of Nissan GTRs. It doesn't give you any, but the game does. All that's left to you is to build the car, and hopefully I can help. Studying photos of the real car versus the GTA one, you'll have noticed loads of differences, especially around the sides, all of the front area, the headlights, and around the rear diffuser area. But despite this, the overall shape has been kept, so the car is still very recognisable. This first build is the Litchfield Track Edition. Litchfield are a UK tuning company, and they can take all manner of really good cars and make them even better. And this is one of those. They've taken the GTR and made it very suitable for track work. I based mine on the silver one shown in the picture straight from the Litchfield website, but I decided I'd rather have it in purple. I love purple. Before we do some builds on the car, how does it drive? Well, naturally the track edition was the perfect one to take on track, and the car does drive very well. The real world car has a incredibly complex four wheel drive system, a load of computers, and it works really well to make the car corner in a very flat and very confident manner. Yet the driver still feels part of the action despite all the computers. Well, they've replicated a lot with this car. Again, some very, very confident cornering. The braking is not quite as good as I'd hoped it felt, just fractionally lacking, but overall, it's good braking, decent acceleration and quite a good top speed. So overall, a pretty confident lap, 56.86 seconds. Now, a car that can do those sort of times is going to be a fun and fast car on the road. It isn't a car to race with. I got under 52 seconds with the Italia GTO in the same class, but a great car. Are you a Fast and Furious fan? Because if so, you'll probably like this, which is Brian's car from the seventh movie. It's a very simple build to do. In fact, I had the car like this last year. The real GTR was made to use its spoiler, and to have one without would be a little strange, but if you do want one without for a clean build, just order a few of them. I ordered four, and two came without spoilers. That is the only way to get rid of the spoiler on the car. Here's another very cost-effective build, and this is the Premium Edition T-Spec, which came out quite recently as a Japan-only 100-car limited-run model. With this was also a limited run of Track Edition models. I'll provide a link so you can see the photos and maybe you want to build one of those. And lastly, here's a standard car build in the very vibrant shade of Katsura Orange, which I think works really well on this car. And it's a colour you don't see so much. I, I tend to see the cars in black, silvers and whites mostly on the road. These four ideas are just the tip of the iceberg. This car has had a long production run. It's had a huge fan following. There are so many track editions and tuner editions and special editions and one-off paint job editions, you name it. There is something out there for everybody and all you really need to do is have a little Google, have a play, and you can build it, and the chances are it will only cost you paint wheels and a few other bits and bobs to do. So let's take a look at these four beauties side by side and see what was needed to build them. I won't do star ratings when this car is literally free for everybody, but I will set you a little challenge. If you have some spare garage space, buy a number of these cars, somewhere between 7 and 10 depending on the garage floor you have free, and make each one into a different real world version of the car. Once you've done that, pop them onto the Discord in the gallery section so that we can all have a look. I'd be 
really interested to see what you come up with. I'd really appreciate a like and a comment because it really does help YouTube spread this to other people to spread the word of the channel. And of course, if you're not subscribed and you like what you've seen, please subscribe. But above all, thank you so much for watching.